The U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops rebukes the so-called Women's Health Protection Act, which the Biden administration fully supports. The USCCB says the legislation would impose abortion on demand nationwide at any stage of pregnancy and would eliminate pro-life laws at every level of government. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, weeks after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, the Biden administration is pressing forward with its abortion agenda. But the bishops object, writing, quote, deliberately ending the lives of defenseless and voiceless human beings is the antithesis of health care. In New Jersey, Vice President Kamala Harris gives a speech at the 113th NAACP National Convention. We know NAACP that our country has a history of claiming ownership over human bodies. And she claims extremist so-called leaders are criminalizing doctors and punishing women for making health care decisions for themselves. But the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops in a letter published Monday writes, we implore those who see abortion as a legitimate solution to the needs of women to abandon this path of death and despair. And as the Biden administration demands what they call reproductive rights, Archbishop William Laurie of Baltimore and Cardinal Timothy Dolan of New York also urge in their pro-life letter, we exhort our nation to prioritize the well-being of women, children, and families with both material resources and personal accompaniment so that no woman ever feels forced to choose between her future and the life of her child. Trust Both the president and vice president had no on-camera events listed on their public schedules today, but the president and first lady Jill Biden offered their support to the war-torn nation of Ukraine by welcoming that country's first lady, Olena Zelenska, to the White House this afternoon. The two first ladies previously met in Europe and promised to stay in touch about the ongoing needs of the people in Ukraine. Just last night, Ukrainian firefighters battled a blaze in the Odessa region, officials there say, after Russia fired cruise missiles from the Black Sea. Also today, we learned in the White House press briefing room that Russia is, quote, laying the groundwork to annex Ukrainian territory that it controls in direct violation of Ukraine's sovereignty. That's according to National Security Council Coordinator for Strategic Communications, John Kirby. Meanwhile, he also says the U.S. will continue, continue to provide Ukraine with security assistance, including weapons and equipment. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.